Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geelan for Syscon TV. We are here at 8th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo New York. You can hear it going on in the background, as can Joe Corvaya from Broadview Networks. Welcome, Joe. Thank you. Now, whenever a, a company called Broadview Networks arrives at Cloud Expo, we get pleased because it seems a validation. This is a huge ecosystem, and here you are. Yep, we're ha happy to be here. Um, certainly lots to talk about today. Uh, you know, uh, do, do you want me to go a little bit through just who, who Broadview is? And If there is someone out there who does not know, let's make sure they do from now on. Good, well, uh, you know, Broadview is a 15-year-old uh, national communications player. Um, we are a cloud hosting company as well as a traditional CLEC. Um, lots of service offerings, um, both, both uh, domestically here and uh, throughout, the, throughout the nation. Yeah, and then, Again, remind people, at what point does cloud come into the scheme of things? We, we're talking about it as a three-year-old phenomenon. I mean, it's a longer right, phenomenon right. depending how you... Just give us a sense of that in your world. Good, good question. Well, um, Broadview, for those of you who, who don't know um, a little bit of the history, back in uh, late 2004, early 2005, uh, Broadview uh, was very much in the forefront of um, cloud VoIP and now has, has entered into the cloud contact center. Um, we are one of the national leaders in there with the tune of 65,000 licenses in service. Um, you know, clearly, uh, cloud computing was a natural extension to that, and we've got a great breadth of offerings that we can certainly talk about as, as, as we go through here. Um, but, but when you kind of combine the, the traditional um, access business, um, you, you take the fact that, uh, you know, now being kind of coined as communications as a service, right? right. Um, the, the cloud VoIP, cloud contact center side of the business where we are a national leader, and you kind of put that together with the cloud computing component, um, it really does allow us to provide a very unique um, proposition to businesses of all sizes out there that very few can do today. Well, let's drill down then. Obviously, you've got a whole spectrum of customers, so I can't just say, give me a typical customer, but how about the offerings? Let's come at it from that way. What, what can I get uniquely from you? Okay, good, good. So, um, like I mentioned, well, first is the kind of the communications as a service realm, right? Um, cloud VoIP, hosted PBX, uh, cloud contact center, and, and the related uh, voice applications that are associated with that. And then there's a full cloud computing line. And the cloud computing line starts anywhere from basic hosted exchange, hosted SharePoint type services. Um, we, we do have an open source uh, messaging, document management, and collaboration solution that we feel um, competes very, very well with uh, you know, some of the community-based offerings like, uh, like a Google Apps or, or, or a Microsoft 365. Um, as you kind of m move up the chain a little bit, we do have cloud server offerings where, where we've got some things that, uh, that we feel differentiate very well there that we can talk about. And uh, finally, kind of what I believe to be one of our really good sweet spots is a product called Office Anywhere. And Office Anywhere is a virtual desktop DAS-like solution that really allows a, a business to take as much or as little uh, of the IT processes and, and, and infrastructure, move it into the cloud in a fully managed environment. Now that does sound to me like a headline grabber. That sounds to me like a great way of getting a foot in the door of the, of the business. De definitely, De and, and that's something that um, we, we've seen a lot of interest from, uh, for, from the entire business community. Uh, you know, the, the further you swim upstream, obviously, the, maybe there's smaller portions of that type of solution that they take, but really if you start to look at the, the 100 to 200 user segment, um, those are the types of businesses that very much want to really try to figure out how do we get out of the business of being in IT and get into the business of doing business. Yeah. And, and th those are the types, of, the types of organizations that are really gravitating to a solution that kind of encompasses everything, pulls it out into the cloud and lets the business focus on their core competencies. Sounds like you are hammering, you use the word sweet spot, so I can use it too. You really are hammering away at a sweet spot, but you seem to have been there before an awful lot of, of names actually who are behind me and around us. So it's good to see you at Cloud Expo. Yes, well, we're, we're certainly happy to be here. Um, you know, we, we do feel, just to kind of go back to one of your other, other questions on, on the differentiation side, is that, uh, you, you know, when, when you couple uh, our, our cloud VoIP and, and, and uh, cloud contact center offerings with solutions like Office Anywhere that's full desktop virtualization, taking business applications, common network applications and desktop applications, pulling them into the cloud, it does, we are one of very few that today can address all needs of a customer. Access, a POTS line, uh, uh, hosted PBX, um, contact center and cloud-based call distribution, as well as all the IT infrastructure and the applications. Now, I don't know if you're manning your stand, but I'm sure you have access to this data. What kind of people are you seeing at Cloud Expo in terms of customers? Uh, what, what types of 
what types of customers are you seeing here at the show? Oh, good, good question. I, you know, certainly we're seeing um, we're, we're seeing a lot of different customers, and I think that that, that what's been interesting is that we're seeing a, a lot of vendors and developers. You know, fo folks that are in the IT community looking for better ways to deliver services to their clients. So, so that that's very good to see that the entire community is grabbing a hold of it. Um, from an end user perspective, we're seeing uh, you know again kind of the, the full scale. Um, smaller businesses that are looking to try to get their heads around things, right? Because there's there's a there's a the clouds a, a, a big big umbrella, right? And and there's a lot of definitions out there, and and I think that the good thing is is that there's enough for us to for us all to go around. Um, but also, we're, we're, so so we're seeing people at, uh, upstream that, that are looking to just push some workloads and distributions into the cloud. Downstream, we're seeing companies that are trying to learn as much as they can and try to figure out again how do I get out of how do I get out of the business of being in IT and, and just give my uh, my organization the tools that it needs and, and really just get into a scenario where I can pay as I go, scale as I grow. This sounds great. How can we catch up? Let's give them a URL. Let's give them places to go, people to see. Okay. Well, well, certainly um, you, you can look look up uh, Broadview. It is www.broadviewnet.com. Um, that, that's a corporate website. I would encourage you to go there. Uh, certainly, if you're if you're streaming, you're going to be at the show. Our, our booth is uh, on the other side here, and I apologize off the top of my head. I don't know exactly what it is, um, but but certainly look us up online. All of our contact information is there, and uh, we do have certain components of our site that are dedicated specifically to um, cloud VoIP and contact center. As as well as cloud computing. Sounds good to me. You've heard the invitation there from the man himself. Thank you so much for joining us, Joe, and thank you for following this out there on the World Wide Web.